Hello everybody. A 15 second key scan moment just cost a CEO his job and exposed the secret about how fragile our AI infrastructure really is. So picture this. You are at the Coldplay concert having a great time and suddenly you're in the Jumbotron during the Kiss Cam segment. Sounds harmless, right? Well, for Andy Byron, CEO of Astronomer.io, those 15 seconds didn't just go viral. They triggered the fastest corporate meltdown in AI history and revealed something terrifying about the companies we trust with our data. Here is why everyone should care about this history. We spend our days building on platforms we are soon are rock solid. Apache Airflow, it's processing data for Disney, Ford, Marriott, basically half 14500. But what happens when the company behind your critical infrastructure implodes overnight? So here is the story you already know. July 16, Gillette Stadium. Byron is there with his chief people officer, Christian Cabot, both Marriott to other people. His cam rolls and Chris Martin himself says to the crowd, either they are having an affair or they are just very shy. The crowd and TikTok explodes. 15 million views later, Myron's career is over. But here's where it gets interesting for us. Within 72 hours, Byron resigned from a 1.2 billion unicorn that controls Apache Airflow. You know, that workflow orchestration tool with 324 million annual downloads that probably runs half your data pipelines right now. Now, you might be thinking, so what? CEOs mess up all the time, but this isn't just any company. Astronomer drives 100% of Apache Airflow releases. They have a 10 project management committee members on staff. So when your infrastructure company's leadership implodes, what happens to your production systems? Now here's a plot twist that should make every architect sleep better at night. Absolutely nothing happened to Airflow itself. While Byron was cleaning out his office, the 80,000 organizations using Airflow kept working. Monthly town calls continued, the Airflow 3.0 release stayed on schedule, and the technical community barely blinked. And that, my friends, is the real story here. The crisis just proved that well-designed open-source governance can survive commercial chaos. The Apache Software Foundation's vendor-neutral model meant that when astronomers' commercial leadership trader, the technical foundation remained rock-solid. But let's talk about what this means for the broader AI industry, because this incident is like a stress test that reveals some uncomfortable truths about how our ecosystem really works. First, corporate governance and AI companies is basically held together with duct tape and good intentions. We're talking about an industry where only 28% of AI companies have CEO oversight of AI governance and just 17% have board level oversight mechanisms. When your chief people officer is the one in the scandal with the CEO, who exactly is watching the watchers? Second, the speed of this crisis should terrify every startup founder. We generated 22,000 news articles in 24 hours. 24 hours! In our hyper-connected world, a personal conduct issue can become an existential business threat faster than your CI-CD pipeline can deploy a hotfix. But here's where it gets really interesting from an investment perspective. VCs are now implementing what they call character assessments in their due diligence process. 82% of PE and VC firms are using AI tools for comprehensive background checks. We are literally using AI to bet the humans building AI companies. The regulatory landscape is shifting too. The EU AI Act isn't just about technical compliance anymore. It's creating accountability frameworks that make leadership conduct inseparable from safety strategy and your CEO's personal conduct are becoming legally intertwined. Now let's address the elephant in the room. Some of you are probably thinking, this is just corporate drama. Who cares about executive love affairs? Here is why you should care. This incident established new crisis response standards that every tech company is now following. Investigation within 24 hours, resignation within 96 hours, Personal conduct issues now get the same treatment as financial fraud. And if you're working at an AI startup, this affects you directly. The competitive talent market means leadership integrity is now crucial for recruitment and retention. Corporate culture assessment is becoming a competitive advantage. Companies that can't demonstrate ethical leadership will lose the talent war. Looking forward, this incident signals the maturation of AI industry governance standards. We are moving from the move fast and break things era to move fast but don't break trust. 
personal conduct now carries equal weight with technical and financial performance in determining leadership viability. The fascinating part is how this reveals the resilience gap between open source and proprietary AI platforms. If this had happened to a company controlling a proprietary AI platform, their customers would be panicking right now. But because Airflow lives in the Apache Software Foundation with over 3,000 individual contributors, the technical development continues regardless of commercial drama. So here's a key learning. This is why vendor-neutral foundations matter. This is why open source governance models are proving more resilient than traditional corporate structures. When your infrastructure depends on a single company's leadership stability, you're building on quicksand. But when it's backed by a diverse, distributed community, you're building on bedrock. Okay, so let me summarize the key takeaways. Open source governance models are more resilient to corporate crisis than proprietary alternatives. Personal conduct scandals in AI companies now receive equal treatment to financial misconduct. The AI industry's governance standards are rapidly maturing beyond technical considerations. What are the immediate implications? VCs are implementing enhanced character assessments in due diligence process. AI companies are establishing crisis response protocols for non-technical scandals. Leadership integrity is becoming crucial for talent recruitment and retention in competitive markets. About the long-term impact, regulatory frameworks like the EU AI Act are linking leadership conduct to technical governance requirements. Corporate culture assessments is evolving into a competitive advantage for AI companies. Now let's talk about actionable takeaways. First, evaluate your infrastructure dependencies, favor open source solutions with vendor neutral governance. If you're at an AI startup, assess your company's crisis response capabilities and succession planning. Consider the governance model when choosing between competing AI platforms or tools. So in conclusion, what is your take on this? Have you experienced infrastructure disruption due to vendor instability? Maybe we are seeing the end of the Rockstar CEO era in tech? The Andy Byron incident represents a watershed moment in for AI industry corporate governance, demonstrating how personal conduct standards now carry equal weight with technical and financial performance in determining leadership viability. Most significantly, the incident reveals the resilience of well-designed open source governance models while highlighting vulnerabilities in commercial AI company structures. As the industry matures, companies that proactively address governance challenges from technical oversight to leadership conduct will be better positioned for sustainable growth in an environment of enhanced scrutiny and accountability. The transformation of a viral concert moment into industry introspection signals that AI companies can no longer separate technical innovation from governance excellence. In an ecosystem where trust is the ultimate currency, a 15-second kiss cam clip just reminded us that reputation remains the most fragile component of any AI tech stack. Today's sponsor is something I'm personally passionate about, Quantix Forecasting. This isn't just another analytics dashboard. It's professional-grade statistical modeling made accessible to content creators. Here is what separates serious creators from everyone else. While others are guessing about their growth patterns, you're using the same Arima forecasting that predicts pharmaceutical sales and Netflix content performance. Quantix runs these calculations in seconds, shows you seasonal patterns you never knew existed, and helps you plan content strategy around predictable growth cycles instead of just random hope. With Quantix Forecasting, you really get professional-level forecasting intelligence without needing a statistics degree. Your content deserves better than guesswork. Start your free trial today. Link in the description below. Because when you understand the science behind your growth, you will stop being at the mercy of the algorithm and start working with predictable patterns. Okay guys, please subscribe, check out our website at codeprocessor.net for additional insights and analysis. Until next time, keep coding and stay ahead of the curve.